Twin tragedies befell the Fuashio family of Lisa George on Saturday, 22nd October, mere moments after speaking to both her daughters who had gone across to the home of a family member who lives nearby. George was greeted to the news that would shatter her world. I don't really know what transpired as a woman. My daughter, my eldest daughter came home running to me saying she killed her daughter, she, she killed her sister, she killed her sister. When I went to see, I saw she was lying, sitting up with a bullet hole to her head. I, I don't really know what transpired. I have no idea. This was a rare case of sorericide, the killing of a sister by another sister or brother. It all happened in a flash. A bullet fired from a gun that was said to be handled by the older sister hit the younger sister in the head. She died on the spot. The family and indeed the community are finding it difficult to come to terms with this terrible incident. We were taking it very hard. What else can we do? Junior Felix is a neighbor and friend of the two sisters, whom he describes as pleasant and engaging. I know both of the people involved, the victim as well, you know. Both of them is two nice individuals from the area, one going to school. One, well, leave school already, it saddens to see, well, boy, that's sisters, you know, and so it happened. She loved dancing. She was into theater, liked to party, liked to come here, always saying she wants to be a dancer and a hairstylist. But now, it cannot happen. I'm in, I'm in the deceased younger sister, Miguela Joseph, celebrated her 16th birthday earlier this month. She was a student of the Corinth Secondary School. She loved theatre arts and wanted to become a beautician, hopes that were all dashed on Saturday. The mother left with the grim tasks of burying one daughter and assisting another with her legal challenges, says she does not know where to start. I don't even know what to say again because I cannot even think right now. Look my one-year-old crying, I don't even know what to do, I can't even take her on. The prevalence of guns is once again at the heart of another tragedy. Only this time, both the victim of the shooting and the alleged perpetrator are sisters. Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.